Dr. Robert Masson is hiking at his home in the mountains of Park City, Utah, preparing for the challenge of a lifetime. In just a matter of weeks, he'll be in Tanzania, Africa, joining four cancer survivors and a dozen others from the cancer community for Survivor Summit. Their mission, to reach the frozen summit of the world's highest freestanding mountain and deliver a message of hope and inspiration to 32 million cancer survivors worldwide. A world-renowned neurosurgeon from Orlando, Dr. Masson will climb to honor his father, who passed away from prostate cancer, and his sister Callie, a 20-year cancer survivor. I think the symbolism and the metaphor for completing a climb like Kilimanjaro represents the symbolism of regardless of how difficult, how, how uh, overwhelming the task ahead, always persevere. And the great, late great words of Jimmy Valvano, don't give up, don't ever give up. I, I, I love that. Dr. Masson is months removed from artificial disc surgery on his neck. He spent six months prehabbing, getting in shape before his surgery, and began rehabbing immediately afterwards. I walked three miles, five hours post-op. Um, I started my training day one of my surgery. Day two, I walked five miles. Day three, I ran three miles. I was back in the gym day four, again, isolating my injury, but making sure that my body was in reparative mode and, and rehabilitative mode. The prehab guaranteed a good outcome and guaranteed that I wouldn't become disabled by the experience. Running around the block at sea level is one thing. Validating his theories of extreme recovery by conquering Kilimanjaro is something altogether different. He arrives in Africa ready to honor his loved ones, prove his theories, and send a message of hope to anyone facing a major health challenge. I think that if you do everything you possibly can to maximize your recovery, to maximize your journey and your fight, your odds of being the exception, being that person that overcomes is so much greater. And uh, you know, I think one of our, our, our challenges is, is to continue to inspire people to keep fighting even when it seems hopeless. You guys ready to go? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Day after day, Dr. Masson and his team climb through increasingly difficult conditions, but his recent surgery is a non-issue thanks to his rigorous training regime. This has reminded me that we have to work to earn our right to do things that are hazardous. How you feel? Oh, phenomenal. You know, the group is doing a great job. I don't think anybody's struggling at all, so we're going to have a good day. I can't wait to get through to the other side. Seven days after they begin, the Survivor Summit team is just steps away from their goal, and Dr. Masson pauses to spread some of his father's ashes. My father died last year of prostate cancer. He fought it for 13 years, put up a great fight. My dad was uh, one of a kind in so many ways. So, here we go. I love you, Dad. For the next hour, Dr. Masson remembers his father, celebrates his sister, and makes a major statement at 19,341 feet about the potential for extreme recovery and the importance of growing bolder. And the biggest thing I think I'm going to take out of this experience is to remember what's important and not get so focused on on um, quantitative goals, to go back to my roots of qualitative goals, harness those a lot more passionately.